Our next uh, eminent speaker is Mervyn Thomas, who is the chief executive and founder member of the human rights NGO Christian Solidarity Worldwide. Mervyn is an advocate for religious freedom and was recently appointed as the champion of the most distinguished order of St. Michael's and St. George, CMG, in recognition of his services to human rights and freedom of religion or belief. He works closely with the UK All Party Group for International Freedom of Religion and Belief and the International Panel for Parliamentarians for Freedom of Religion and Belief and the Jamaat. It gives me a great pleasure to welcome him again to the Jalsa Salana and I invite him to come and say a few words. Assalamu alaikum. Your Holiness, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for inviting me to the 53rd Jalsa Salana. It's truly a great privilege and honour to join you today on behalf of my organisation, uh, CSW, Christian Solidarity Worldwide. And it's also a great pleasure because I actually live just a few miles from here in Farnham, so it wasn't very far for me to come today. CSW is a, a Christian advocacy organisation specialising in uh, freedom of religion or belief um, and re uh, through advocacy and research. And as Christians, we stand with people of all faiths and none who face injustice because of their religion or belief. Today we are witnessing increasing religious repression across the world. According to the Pew Forum, 79% of the world's population live in countries with high or very high restrictions on religious freedom. And we recognise that your community, the Amadea community, is suffering in many countries around the world. At CSW, we are proud of the long-standing relationship with the Amadea community, who we continue to support by drawing attention to religious freedom violations, whether in Bangladesh, Indonesia, Pakistan, or other parts of the world. CSW regularly raises these injustices with the UK government and it gives me a great pleasure to say that I'm able to work closely with uh, your distinguished Amadea, uh, our, our um, human rights uh, envoy, Minister Lord Ahmed, who is a good friend and great supporter for religious freedom around the world. It's good to be working with him and as a member of the Foreign Secretary's Human Rights Advisory Group here in the UK. We also work with the US government. Uh, we work at the UN and, uh, and at the EU too. Our staff recently spent time with the Ahmadi community in Bangladesh after the government cancelled your annual gathering there in February. In Pakistan, we met community leaders and victims of abuses. We listened to and documented their horrific accounts of target killings, attacks on mosques, and discrimination faced by young Ahmadis in the school system. As we have shared your grief and sorrow, we have raised awareness of these cases of injustice. In the face of overwhelming intolerance, it is both your motto, love for all, hatred to none, together with the humility and outstanding attitude of your community who have never expressed hatred towards their oppressors that resonates with us as Christians and the teachings of Christ that we follow. I very much value our relationship with the Amadea community and am deeply grateful for our close partnership and collaboration. We continue to stand side by side with you because we have a moral and a spiritual duty to speak up for and to support one another, especially in these very troubled times. Please be assured of our commitment to you through our voices, our actions, and our prayers. I believe we have a shared vision to create a world that is free from religious persecution, where everyone is free to practice their religion or belief. We stand in solidarity with you. God bless you and thank you.